You guys better get down. Oh. Get down. Oh my God. Hello everybody, I am Michael Thornton, I am a Oklahoma Storm Chaser and a history buff. We're going to be talking about the Stoughton Tornado today. Thursday, August 18th, 2005. It's early afternoon. A surface low pressure system is over southeastern Minnesota. The warm front extending east-southeast from the low, along with dew points in the 70s, favorable wind shear, and strong instability would be more than enough to supply a tornado outbreak. At 2.09, the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, puts out a mesoscale discussion over Wisconsin, saying that the potential for severe weather has increased. By 5.47, the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, issues another mesoscale discussion, talking about issuing a new tornado watch due to the increasing threat of the potential for tornadoes. At 5.54 p.m., a tornadic storm would start forming to the west of Oregon. It would head straight east towards Stoughton. At 6.15 p.m., the Stoughton Tornado would form two miles north of Oregon and begin its 53-minute reign of terror while heading in an eastern direction towards the town of Stoughton. downtown Stoughton. That's Stoughton right there? Yeah. I'm not sure. I, God, I hope that didn't hit John Keating's house. I'm not sure the son of a Mick ain't going to turn around. Holy. At 7.08, the tornado finally lifted, leaving behind a path of destruction and killing one. In this photo showing the damage path, you can see that the tornado came within one mile of entering town. In total, after the damage was surveyed, the Stoughton tornado would be given a rating of an F3 and do $40 million in damage. One person who worked at the Milwaukee airport reported having a corn stalk on the runway from debris that was thrown into the air by the tornado, while another person reported that they found photos of people in Stoughton all the way in Milwaukee from the tornado, which is incredible to think about because Milwaukee is 78 miles from Stoughton. An often repeated comment was heard throughout that week. It was the fact that people were surprised there weren't more fatalities. If it wasn't for this event, I wouldn't have fallen in love with this thing called severe weather and storm chasing. This event taught me to respect Mother Nature and to always take tornado warnings and watches seriously. Thank you for watching.